All right, let's look at this grade 10 mechanics question. It's from paper 1, November 2017. It says a car accelerates from rest at 15 meters per second per second for two seconds on a horizontal road. Then it says define the term acceleration. So learn your definitions. Acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. If you don't have both of those parts of the definition, you can't have both of the marks. You can say it is the change in velocity per unit time, but you have to refer to both the change in velocity and the change in time. Then it says to you, calculate the distance covered by, by the car. So we know that we are going to use equations of motion to do this because we have a car that is accelerating. Okay, So when the car is accelerating, we need to um, use the equations of motion. So when it says from rest, that means my initial velocity is going to be zero. This 15 meters per second per second is my acceleration, okay? Because every second you are getting 15 meters per second faster. And this two seconds is my change in time, which we call delta t. So we know these things, so we need an equation of motion that has got these things. And what are we looking for? The distance, the distance we refer to as delta x. So the formula goes delta x equals vi delta t plus a half a delta t squared. Okay, so we don't know delta x, that's what we're looking for. And then this first term becomes zero because my initial velocity is zero and my change in time is two. Okay, plus a half, my acceleration is 15 and my change in time is 2, which we will square. So if you put this all in your calculator, you will get a half of 15 times 4 gives you 30 meters. Okay, and it asks for the distance. didn't specifically say the displacement, so we don't need to give um, a direction because it just asked for the distance, which is a scalar. Then in 9.2.2, it asks for the velocity of the car. So if we are having a velocity, we know our answer is going to need at the end a uh, direction because velocity is a vector which needs magnitude and direction. So we take the same information we've already got, but we are wanting to now calculate the final velocity. So we can use the formula Vf equals Vi plus A delta T. We don't know what the Vf, that's what we're looking for. It started from rest, so my initial velocity is 0, plus my acceleration, which is 15, plus times my time, which is 2. So my final velocity is 30 meters per second. Now, we can take the picture, but it doesn't refer to the picture. There is nothing to tell you anything here. It just says on a horizontal road. So... We can assume to the right is positive, which we should have said something at the beginning of this question, because the moment we're dealing with vectors, we should have said that the direction of motion is positive, okay? But because the first part didn't ask for this, I just left it, and that's how come I was letting my acceleration also be positive. So this 30 meters per second, the most correct answer is in the direction of motion. Now the memo says to the right. I don't know where they got the to the right from because it's not given in the question. So I'm happy with in the direction of motion. Now in the second part of the question here. Okay, let's change the pen color to have a look at this. There's this situation with this car over here and the truck. It says to you, while traveling at a constant velocity of 108 kilometers per hour, the driver of a car, so this is the speeding person here, notices a sign warning, warning motorists to keep a safe two-second following distance. At that, instance, the, at that instant, the car is 80 meters behind a truck that is traveling at a constant velocity of 90 kilometers per hour. Then it says to you, explain the meaning of a safe two-second following distance. So this safe two-second following distance, it's to allow people to have time to break. If something unexpected happens in the road, 
if this car over here was, for instance, only 10 meters over here, there would be a calamity if the truck suddenly saw a cow or a goat or a child or whatever in the road. This car would immediately be um, driven up the bumper of the truck. So the safe two second following distance, if you have a look up in the right hand corner there, there it is written, what is your safe two second following distance? When following a car, a motorist should keep a safe distance such that it takes more than two seconds to reach the same position as the car in front. So this safe following distance depends on how fast you're traveling because the faster you travel, the further you can travel in two seconds because it's about how much distance are you traveling in two seconds, okay? So obviously if you're going really fast, you can travel a big distance in two seconds. Okay, so then it says calculate the safe two second following distance behind the truck. So now if the truck is going to stop, you want to know how far will this truck stop in two seconds? How far will it go in two seconds before it stops? Because that's how far behind it you must be that you can also stop in the same two seconds. So if we're going to work this out, okay, the first problem is, is that um, the speed of the truck is given in kilometers per hour. And we don't like to do any of our calculations in mechanics with kilometers per hour. So we need to convert this 90 kilometers per hour into meters per second, okay? And then it's going to tie in nicely with my two second following distance. So either you can uh, convert the 90 kilometers into meters by saying 90 times 1,000 meters, and you can change the hours into 60 uh, minutes in an hour and 60 seconds in a minute. So you can either do that calculation, or you can just remember that it is 90 divided by 3.6. And if you do that calculation, they will accept both of them. This is the long format, and this is if you've got a good memory, okay? You will end up with an answer of the truck is traveling at 25 meters per second. So now we need to say, how far will you go in two seconds? How far in two seconds time? So we're once again looking at the equation of motion with the distance, which is delta x, which I like to use this one, vi delta t plus a half a delta t squared, okay? So my delta x will be my initial velocity, which for the truck is 25 meters per second. The time is two seconds for my safe following distance, plus a half. The truck is traveling at a constant velocity, so my acceleration is zero, and then my time is two squared. But this zero over here means that that whole term falls away. So my safe traveling distance is 25 times two, so 50 meters is the safe stopping distance, safe following distance. Okay, so you must be 50 meters behind the truck in order to be able to stop in time to prevent you shunting into the back of the truck. Now, it says to you, calculate how long. It doesn't say how far, it says how long. We are looking for an amount of time. Calculate how long it will take the motorist to get a safe two second following distance behind the truck. So we're still sitting with the problem here that we don't know how fast this car is traveling in meters per second. So the first thing we're going to do is because we've got the safe two second following distance is convert this 108 kilometers per hour into meters per second. So I'm not going to show you the wrong way. You just say 108 divided by 3.6 and you get 30 meters per second. Okay, so now let's have a look here. We've got the car traveling at 30 meters per second and the truck traveling at 25 meters per second. This means that the car is traveling faster than the truck and it's catching up on the truck. But let's think what's actually going on here. Where must the car be? How, how much must the car catch up to the truck? Because if you think about it, this car is going fast, it's got a long vector, this truck is going slow, it's got a short vector. So the car is catching up 
on the truck. But when the car gets to some point here, if you look at the 80 meters, if we say, for instance, let's rub out the 80, and we split this up into 50, okay, when this car is 50 meters from the truck, this is when it mustn't come any closer to the truck. So I assume he's going to apply his brakes when he gets to 50 meters. So how much must he catch up? 80 minus 50, because the whole thing was 80. He must catch up 30 meters, okay? So how long is it going to take him? So let's think about what's going on. In one second, what does this velocity mean for the truck? In one second, the truck has traveled 25 meters, okay? In one second, the car has traveled... 30 meters, because that is what their velocity tells you. This is 25 meters in one second, and the car is 30 meters in one second. So what is the difference here? How much has the car caught up? In one second, the car has caught up 5 meters, okay? So if we carry on looking at this, in 2 seconds, if we think about this again, in 2 seconds... How far has the truck gone? If we think about it, the truck will have gone 50 meters and the car will have gone 60 meters. Okay, I'm just taking the velocity and multiplying it by the time. And then what is the difference here in two seconds? The difference here is 10 meters. Okay, so you can see I can keep doing this and saying how far has the car gone in one second, how far has the truck gone in two seconds. I can keep doing this until I end up with this 30 meter answer, okay? And the answer is going to be, so if we have a look here, every second the car, think about this, every second the car is five meters closer to the truck, okay? And it has to catch up 30 meters. It needs to catch up 30 meters. So if you do some simple maths, if every second you are five meters closer and you need to, you need to travel 30 meters, how many seconds is it going to take you? It is going to take you six seconds because 30 divided by five is six seconds. But now, you might think that this is very boring and taking very long to keep doing this calculation in 25 meters. I mean, in one second, I traveled 25 meters. In one second, the car traveled 30. So what you have to do here is you have to say, what's actually going on here? The car is traveling at 30. The truck is traveling at 25. So then you say, 30 minus 25 is 5 meters per second. The car is traveling 5 meters per second faster than the truck, and it needs to catch up 30 meters. So then you say, um, what is distance? Distance equals speed times time. So my distance is 30. My speed difference is 5, so what is the time? The time is 6 seconds. But to be honest, I find it easier to think about, to say what does the velocity mean? This velocity of 25 meters per second means that in one second I travel 25 meters, and for the car, in one second I travel 30 meters. So every second the car is gaining 5 meters on the truck, so after 6 seconds, the car will have caught up 30 meters, at which point it must stop to be the safe following distance of 50 meters behind the other car. So I hope, that, I hope this helps you think about this question.